Hi, good day everyone. Again, it's me, Teacher Jules, your uh, wisdom amazing facilitator of learning. All right, so uh, for today's video, we're going to talk about the factors to consider in selecting research problem. All right, so are you still struggling in uh, choosing your research topic? Then this video is for you. And by the way, I'll try to do my best to uh, explain it in uh, Tagalog para hindi naman mahirapan ang ating mga estudyante sa junior high school. All right. So, uh, if you are just new to my YouTube channel, ano pang hinihintay mo? Subscribe na. All right. So, don't forget to uh, ring the notification bell as well para updated ka sa mga videos na akin pang i-upload. All right, again, our topic, ang pag-usapan natin ay uh, about choosing your research topic or identifying research problem. All right, actually, the first, if you can recall your uh, class, your research class, okay, the first step in uh, Research is what? Identifying the research problem. Diba? Nandun yung statement of the problem. Okay. Ngayon, um, identifying a research problem is one of the most difficult thing na ginagawa ng researcher. Diba? Kasi napaka-broad. Diba? Sa dami ng topics, di mo alam kung ano yung mas... Uh, Magandang gawan ng research. Alright? Okay. Alright, so uh, for in this video, bibigyan ko kayo ng tips kung paano, di ba? I-identify yung research problem. Because we're gonna talk about what? The factors to consider in what? Selecting research problem. Okay. So, what are the factors to consider in selecting a research problem. Ano nga ba yung mga factors na kailangan natin i-consider sa pagpili ng ating research problem for you to come up a good topic, alright? Which is suitable for you, okay? Alright, so of course, number one is what? Your interest, okay? Your Interest. That is the first thing na i-consider. Okay? So, it should be of researcher's interest and researcher must be with the topic. Alright? So, how can you be with the topic if you are not interested in the first place? Right? Okay. So, you have to choose the... You, you have to... Uh, Choose a topic or a research problem that motivates you or interests you. Diba? Because a researcher in divorce is usually time-consuming and involves hard work and possibly unforeseen problems. So, you should select a topic of great interest to what? Sustain the required motivation. Diba? So, kung namili ka ng topic, or research problem just for your compliance para lang for the sake of your requirements then hindi ano hindi nakalinya sa interest mo then what will happen okay diba so it's time consuming baka mamaya ma-reject diba kasi hindi mo ano you are not motivated to do your best to conduct such research, okay, such study. All right, number two is what? The significance and relevance. All right, so ensure that your study adds to the existing body of knowledge. All right, and bridges current gaps in knowledge, and of course, it is useful in policy formulation. And I presume that you have learned about the importance 
in of uh, conducting a research, right? One of which is it improves what? The quality of life, correct? Because research is the force behind what we, what? What we do, okay? It is the force behind everything that we do, all right? Just like the food we eat, the, the cars we drive, the gadgets or the phones that we use, right? And the medicine we take, okay? Sabi nga ng aking uh, EP, uh, ng EPS namin sa science department, okay? I'm actually uh, one of uh, the teachers, di ba? In science department. I'm teaching science. Ayan, medyo ginulupay, no? Okay, and uh, our EPS is none other than Dr. Uh, Bernardino. Okay? Sabi niya, without research, okay, wala lahat ng mga inventions because research comes first. Diba? Nauna muna yung research bago yung invention. Okay? Yun yung naalala ko when... Uh, when he had his opening remarks, okay? When, nung nagkaroon kami ng science fest. Okay, which is true, tama? And uh, we all know that research is truth-seeking. Uh, truth so researchers undergo the systematic process of acquiring information or data, analyzing and interpreting this data to increase knowledge about a phenomenon. Okay, so it should be relevant. Okay, you are not supposed to uh, under, undertake a study because it is part of your requirements. Alright? Okay, number three. Ayan. Ayan, na ulit. Di ba? Ayan. Just bear with me, guys. I'm having a technical difficulty. Alright, number three is the uh, magnitude or the scope of your study. Okay. Alright, so it is extremely important to uh, select a topic that you can manage within the time and resources at your disposal. Okay? So you should consider your time and resources. Okay? As much as possible, you narrow your topic down to something manageable, specific, and Clear. Diba? Okay, number four. You have to consider the level of your expertise. Okay? Make sure that you have adequate knowledge or expertise for the task you are proposing since you need to do the work yourself. Okay? Alright, so meaning you have to choose a topic na nakalinya sa inyong field of expertise. If you are STEM, then stick to a topic that is relevant to your expertise. Diba? Alright. Ayan. What else? What are the factors? Number five is the measurement of concepts. Okay? So, uh, make sure that you are clear about the uh, indicators and measurement of concepts if used in your study. Okay? That, there is, mat, uh, there is uh, what we call clarity. Okay? It should not be ambiguous. Okay? Alright, number six, availability of data as well. So, consider the uh, availability of data involved in the study and the methods and techniques to be employed in gathering them. Okay, so you have to what? Consider the data. Okay, that you're going to collect. Okay, number seven is what? The uh, availability of instruments to be used. Okay, sabi natin kanina, availability of data. So before finalizing on your topic, make sure that the data are available. Okay, so getting information for your research is very critical to any research. Okay? So, consider the, the uh, availability of effective instruments for gathering the data and their what? Instruments as well. Okay? And number eight, you have to consider your time. Consider the time factor involved in the 
undertaking. Okay? Sabi nga natin kanina. Alright? So, uh, uh, research is time-consuming. Diba? So, you should consider your time. Alright? Then, of course, pag nagkanda ka ng research, hindi naman porkit nagkanda ka ngayon after two years yung goal mo para matapos. Diba? Okay. Wala na yung reliability. And of course, you should consider your financial capacity. Alright? So, so uh, consider the financial capacity of the researcher to support the project. Mahirap naman. Pag magkakanda ka ng research, wala ka palang budget. Diba? Mahirapan ka. Okay, number 10 is the uh, ethical issues. Okay? So, ethical issues are research process, uh, processes and findings that affect the sensibilities and rights of research participants. Okay? So, the effect of the study on the population and how these ethical problems can be overcome, okay, should be uh, thoroughly examined at the problem formulating states. Okay, you have to consider naman yung ethics. Baka mamaya, conduct ka na ng, conduct ng research, okay, you are already uh, violating the privacy na pala ng iba, or uh, you are already uh, uh, what we call this, committing what? Plagiarism. Okay? Alright. So, uh, Number 11, kagaya na sabi ko kanina, clarity, it should be clear, not ambiguous. Okay? And of course, number 12 is originality. It should be something new or different from what has already been written about. So, recency is one of the important element of research na meron ka. It must be something new. Hindi naman yung masyado ng luma, di ba? Mga nagawa na ng research. Okay, you should think of something new or different from what has already been written about. Otherwise, your research will not, uh, won't be uh, what? Uh, interesting to your readers. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the uh, criteria. Okay, the uh, criteria in uh, selecting your uh, research problem. Okay? Ayan. So, paki-zoom na lang kung hindi nyo masyadong nakikita ang aking uh, slide. Okay. So, as you can see, there are sources of problems. Okay? Sources of research problems. Okay? It can be from uh, experience, deductions from theory, related literature, and of course, whether it's a non-education sources. Now, here is your tentative problem statement. Okay? So, these are the things that you need to consider. You should ask yourself before what? Identifying or uh, before selecting a research problem. Of course, number one, is the problem stated clearly? So, if your answer is no, if your problem is ambiguous, then you have to what? What are you going to do? You have to restate. Okay? Alright, so if it's uh, stated clearly, then you can proceed. Alright? To the next stage. Okay? Next criteria. Will the solution contribute to knowledge? If not, you have to, re to uh, reconsider your what? Your research problem. Alright? If yes, then proceed to the next question. Is the problem researchable? Then if your problem is not researchable, okay, then you have to rethink of new research problem. Okay? Then if your problem is researchable, then you can want, you can proceed to next question. Is the problem suitable for you? It is something is it something that interests you? Is, is this something that, uh, what we call this, motivates you? Okay. Is it something na aligned sa iyong uh, field of expertise? If yes, then that, then your research problem is suitable for you. Then if not, then you have to think. Okay. All right. 
Then, uh, next criteria, is it ethically appropriate? Then, if not, you have to reconsider your research problem. Okay. Then, is the study quantitative? If your study is not quantitative, then malamang your study is qualitative. Okay? Then, have the variables and population, uh, population, uh, I'm sorry, have the variables and population been identified? If no, then you have to rewrite your research problem. Okay? All right. Then, if you have the variables, you have the uh, dependent and independent variables, okay? Then, you can now uh, think of what? Best title for your research, okay? In our next video, okay, I'm gonna uh, share some tips in writing a research title. All right, so uh, thank you so much for listening and I hope sa next na video ay uh, patuloy niyong uh, panoorin okay para kahit papaano makapag-share man lang ako ng konting kaalaman all right so thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day